Hey guys, today on Aided World, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the custom photos for your boats, for your company library here, such as like my Oasis Industries one and that one right there. So guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make that. So I've been, a few of you guys have commented yeah. on my previous shipping lanes video that you would like to know how to make these these custom um photos for the side of your boat so guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how so guys i forgot to mention that thank you everyone for making this company have 404 members and also be number 34 on the leaderboard so that is awesome guys so thanks for doing that and also, um, so in order to make these, um, designs, you have to go under company branding, then decal customization. You need to pay two Robux, uh, 200 Robux, in order to unlock this functionality. So guys, now that you know that, we can move on to making the photos. So this part, um, you will need to have, um, the fo a couple photos that you would like, and then... A photo editing program so uh, let's just save an exit here and um, now I'm going to show you how to do that so we'll be right back alright guys so now we are on the next part of the video which is creating the decals so guys first off um, before you before we begin uh, remember to not use any copyrighted content on your photos for your ship from real life brands or any of that stuff. So just remember that. Or else some shipping lanes will delete your company. So don't do that. But anyway. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need a couple photos. Uh, maybe some text. And um, you're going to also need a photo editing program. So that's just a program that I use called Photoshop. And let's see. So this a uh, photo right here is for the side decal this one right here and the way you make this is you need a photo of this specific ratio right here so so it looks good so this is a bit of an old photo but it's just as an example of what you're going to create so um you're going to need a um photo of the width with the width of 2,464 pixels and the height of 568 pixels. So if you're going to use um, inches, then you're going to need 8.23 inches wide and um, 1.83 inches tall. So you're going to need to remember that to make one of these. So for the um, final decal, such as this one right here, and this is the photo that I used for the funnel decal. So in order to make the funnel decal, you're going to need an image size of 576 wide and 576 pixels um, tall. So in order to do that with inches, you're going to need a width and height of 1.92 inches. So anyway. Now I'm going to show you how to create these. So I have some files right here in this folder. So we're going to just um, open this and we're going to add this uh, thing right here. This is not exactly a template, but we can use it as um, a template right here. So we're going to deselect that so that we can only move this, center that. And then now we need to go check this once again. Okay, so 2464 by 568. Okay, so now let's input the um, amount of pixel that we need. So, so 24, 2464 by 578. So now that we got that, um, actually it's 568. So you gotta make sure you have the right amount of pixels or else it'll be too short or too long or something. And then it could cut off. So 
let's proceed with that and now that we got that we can begin editing so um let's see let's do that so now in order to make a photo that looks that has like edges like that um you're going to need to do something like this um copy these edges or I can make it um, more square like this so like that so this is um, sort of the way that I made my other Oasis Industries thing so now we just copy this paste it back in and then we just hide that for now and then now we copy this part of the photo this is center and then we copy and then we copy this and then we paste it back in and then we delete the original so now that we have two pieces so let me just zoom out just a little bit here okay there we go so now let's uh, move this like right over there add this like right here and then extend this to a good um width duplicate this side and then move it to this side so this side isn't exactly um aligned with the middle part so we'll um move it right over there There we go. So now let's push this part right there. And then let's see. So now we got the whole structure. We cannot uh, leave it like right there. So it's exactly in the middle right now. So you can make it longer if you'd like. But yeah. So now what you got to do is I recommend saving this photo. So you would want to save this photo as like um side image template. So you want to save this as a PNG file. Um, you just call it you can call it whatever you want but for right now for tutorial purposes I'm gonna call this side image template so now that we got that um we'll go paste it back here and then we'll copy it and then paste it here and then now that it's one file it's easier to work with so we'll remove this right here and then We'll save this as a um, Photoshop file. So we'll call it side image templates. Uh, shipping lanes. Okay, so let's name it like that. So we're going to save it as a Photoshop file right here. And then now that we've got that we can change its colors like um we can use a gradient you can use um one of these gradient things and then um you can choose whatever colors you want you can make it look like that if you wanted you can make it look um like this like that however you want it um, but since we're, but since this is going to be an Animal Crossing thing, we're probably going to use some um, like green colors. There we go. So now we got a interesting outline. You can also use this bevel uh, thing right here to make um, like to make it look like it's actually like 3D, which is a really cool feature of Photoshop right here. So we can do something like that. Then we can like tone down the uh, thing here. Actually, let's undo that. Oh well. 
so um you could just tone it down like right here so that it doesn't look all uh, like that but yeah so let's see so let's make it like this and then we can make it like a smooth edge to it we could also add like an outer glow so that it like glows a little bit which is definitely one cool thing to add all right so now that we got that you can also add like a drop shadow if you wanted to but um i think the game will take care of that so now that we've gotten this we could uh set this so let's see group from layers and then we'll name it frame and then we'll change the color to, to this is to like some sort of green color so that we know what it is and then we'll drag in our um stuff so, so, so since we already got all the green stuff taken care of we'll just add this nook ink thing to it so it's a bit um oops i forgot to uh disable the all angle scaling thing so now that we got this um we can make something like that if we wanted to it actually looks pretty cool so let's see let's add this bevel and emboss thing that like it has a little bit of depth to it so uh, we'll do that something like that and then we'll um do this right here so that looks pretty cool right there so now let's add this to um a group this is going to be logo and then we're going to set it to a red color and that looks pretty cool right there um we don't exactly need it to be that long but um yeah so you'd want to keep the photo that long as much as possible so guys um there is ways that you could shorten the edges of the thing right here so let's center this again so there we go so that's centered that looks pretty cool and um if you leave it like this it'll still work so let's see let's scale this a little bit and then now let's save so that we got that uh let's save this as a uh, png file so let's see So side image template uh, complete. Okay, so I guess let's just call it a uh, Nook Ink um, side library like that, and then save it like that. So now um, we since we saved it to a Photoshop file we can now we can now um, always open this up if we wanted to change it again and then save the file without having to do it all over so now let's move on to creating the so the um funnel thing so i guess you can still use about the same thing let's just uh save it as a different thing so let's see Now that we got that, um, we will adjust this right here. So we'll copy this area. So let's uh, remove the Nook Ink logo from this. And then now let's only keep like a small area of this. So. So we're only going to keep like a small area of this right here. So something like that, I guess. And deselect. 
then we're gonna actually we're gonna use this same tool and then we're gonna move this and then fuse it back together which is one cool thing that you could do with Photoshop which is like fuse the files back together without having to completely do it over again so let's see so actually that's a bit too small so we're gonna undo that deselect and then we're gonna open up one of these Nook Inc files here so we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna paste it into this and we're gonna shrink that down a little bit so in order for it to fit uh, we'll have to have it at about this size right here so there we go so now let's cut this part off right here actually let's move that right there delete that deselect select this select this area right here move this over here piece it back together with that piece and it seems like we could remove a little bit of stuff so we could move some stuff to so deselect So I could remove this segment like right there. Deselect and then we'll select this. And then that looks pretty good. So now let's deselect that. Um move the logo to the center of this. Like right there. And then now We'll close these. We'll check the size of this real quick. So it's 576 on each angle. So let's see. So actually, let's move our thing across again. Oops. Okay, so now let's move our thing to the middle of this project so that it doesn't get cut off. So now we got to do five, oops, five seventy six by five seventy six. Save. So now that we got that, it is now um, set like that. So we can move this uh, closer to the middle here so let's see so for some reason this thing is still um, detecting some sort of thing over there so let's remove that deselect and then um yeah so it's still detecting something over there but we're going to just see the logo like that so we're going to close those. We're going to save this. And then now uh, let's just align this Nook Inc. logo to the center of this right here. So there we go. So now let's save this file as um, a PNG, of course, or else it won't be clear background. So. There we go. So now we can uh, minimize our thing here. And now we got those two those two photos. So we got this one. And we got this one. Um, we can now upload those to Roblox. So I'll show you how. So guys, all you have to do um, now is you have to go over to Create tab and let's see so let's go under decal all right guys so now all you have to do is go under choose file 
select the file you want so we're gonna upload this one first and then upload and then now we're gonna get our other one here upload and then now all we have to do is go under um, configure set it to allow copying so now that we've done that um now let's go back into shipping lanes and go check it out all right guys so now that we are here back in shipping lanes uh we're going to go under companies view profile manage company and it seems like already two more people joined our company that is awesome so let's see manage company change shipped edit ship design uh company branding decal customization so um let's see so i got currently the library decal here so let's see there we go so guys now let's go over here apply this one boom so we got our decals in there and they look pretty good too so guys that is how you make the decals um i'm gonna just choose discard changes um for the company right now and yeah so guys that is pretty much it for this video so um real quick i'm going to show you how it looks like so um we did also get this special prototype ship um for being in here during the beta stages of the game but yeah guys this is how um this boat looks so um let's see let's go over here so now let's go over here and um the design our um, oasis industries design over here looks pretty good so it um of course is a bit small i'm not exactly sure how to extend it more to the sides unless you just make it wider but yeah it is a pretty good decal i guess on these long boats it doesn't look so great but yeah and also guys um on top of our boat here let me just go to the top real quick all right so guys right here is the um oasis um design here the um funnel decal so they one on each side of the funnels and um of course we got that design over there and then guys you can make more decals um like this one on the back of the boat right here which is a flag yeah so i got the flag pass in the store it is uh 40 robux so it is pretty cool you get a small flag that you can put on the back of your boat and in order to make these photos guys um you will need a 2560 by 1440 um size thing so you can make it um a smaller size like 1920 by 1080 as long as it's a 16 by 9 image ratio so that's all you got to remember guys so 16 by 9 image ratio for this or 2560 by 1440 or um 1920 by 1080 So, um, guys, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was able to help you, um, make these cool decals. So, I might use those decals that we just made, um, for another company once I get enough money, of course. And I am still not sure if the company, uh, makes money or not. Um, I'm still not 100% sure. So guys, um, yeah, so I'm not 100% sure if, if the companies make money or not, but, uh, yeah, so that is it for this video, so I might use those decals on a different company, um, if I, like, make a Nook Inc. company or something like that, that would be cool, but yeah, so, guys, that is pretty much 
it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll never miss out on another video on Edith World. But of course, guys, um, if you have any more questions about the game, uh, you can leave them in the. Hold on. You can now make 20 companies. One out of 20 companies join. So, if you join, if you only want, if you want to have um all of the company slots to be your companies um you um you can create 20 companies as long as you join uh, no one else's company so if you want to join someone else's company you'll have to have a couple slots um for those companies because you can only be in 20 so let's see so let's uh go back in here and yeah so guys that is pretty much it so if you have any more questions about the game like how to make um those flag decals i could um let me know in the comments or in our discord server so you can let me know in those places so anyway guys we will see you next time on aided world